Hi there, welcome to the next video in this series on Zebra. This one will be discussing the synthesis section. So let's get straight into it. This section here is what's known as the generator panel. This is the control panel for all active modules. So you can see we've got a control panel here for oscillator 1. So if I put a filter, you've got another one. If I put a FMO in there, you can, as you can see, these are the control panels for whatever is shown here in the matrix. Now these can be reordered, so if I want to put the FMO above the VC1, VCF1, I just click in between the two of them and they move. But it's up to you how you want to keep it as I like, to kind of mirror, mirror what's going on in here if I can. Over here we've got the modulators panel. This is where you'll find envelopes, LFOs, mod mappers, mod mixers, etc. Now these are not defined in the grid. As you can see, you can't see an envelope in there and you can't see an LFO in there either. But these all these two the reason for that is th these two always turn up when you create an initial patch. But whenever I like if I add an envelope as a control feature over here. So say I want the envelope to control the wave. I click on that. If I go to envelope 2, the envelope 2 turns up here, but it doesn't show up there. So don't get confused because that shows and doesn't show here. Remember, these are modulation tools. And again, you can reorder them by clicking between them. It's up to you, really. You could maybe have all your envelopes together, then your LFOs or whatever it is that you want to do. So basically, just remember, generator panel, this is where your generation tools will show up. So oscillators, noise, and different types of oscillators, and your filters, etc. Because the filters don't, well, some filters can generate their own sound, but that's self-modulation because of the resonance, but that's nothing to worry about. Um, but they do affect the sound of the oscillators because the oscillators generally rooted straight into the filter so they do turn up here. Anything that's used to modulate the sound will show up over here. Pretty straightforward really. Okay this is the main grid here. This is used for patching generators together. As I've just shown you if I want to add an oscillator and some noise They would be as um, they would be patched here. The signal flow is always from the top to the bottom, although it can be from side to side also. To add a module, you simply just let, you just left click somewhere and select the module, and there you go, it's been added. You can drag the modules to wherever you want. To deactivate a module, so now at the moment we've got oscillator 1, oscillator 2, noise 1. If we want to deactivate the noise, just double click it. Pretty easy, really. Now you can specify different types of routing um, with these modules. And to do that, you right click on it and you can tell it to use whichever input you so desire. You can also deactivate it and activate it. You can also right click and remove it. Also, if you select any one of these by left clicking, you'll see the green the green line show around whichever one it is. So when you, when you open a, or when you're creating a patch that's got hundreds of modulators, uh, sorry, uh, generators, and you get a bit confused, just click on it and it will show you by being highlighted in green. Pretty simple. Also, if I've got oscillator 1, oscillator 2, and say oscillator 3 just for ease, oscillator 1 signal goes into oscillator 2. However, it doesn't process the audio. So when they're placed on top of each other like this, the signals are actually being mixed together. So that's the three oscillator signal being mixed together. There's nothing else going on. They're just mixing the signal, that's it. Also FMOs will just be added as well. But only in certain modes. So as, at the moment you can hear that it's really made a difference. 
so certain certain of these modes will will not process audio. It will just simply mix the signals that are in place before it. But we'll get into that a bit more in a further video. So just remember that basically when they're piled on top of each other like that, the signals mix together. Now, as you can see, there's four lanes, four inputs. If I right click, if I move that to there. I move that to there, and let me just get rid of that, and I move that to there. What we now have is four different channels, if you like. As you can see, they've got volume controls down here. So let me just go to oscillator one. We'll leave it as, right, I just want to move these up a bit. Tidy this up. Oscillator one, two, three, and four. Okay, so oscillator one is just a normal Let's go to oscillator 2 and change that to a dual and detune it slightly. Oscillator 3 will change to a quad, detune that, add some vibrato. And oscillator 4 will put to 11. We'll change that, we will detune it a lot and change the pitch. So at the moment, when I press a key on my keyboard, I can only hear oscillator 1 because it's the one with the volume and it's coming through here. If I increase the volume in oscillator 2, I'm now hearing a mix of oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. Now the beauty of that means that I could add a filter into oscillator 2 without affecting oscillator 1. As you can see, I'm getting two unique sounds there, and they're not affecting each other with regards to this filter is only affecting oscillator 2. Pretty, se pretty self-explanatory. Now, oscillator 3. Starting to get a nice, rich sound. And of course, it's just a mixture of those three. You can also remove some. And of course, they can add oscillator 4 in. So as you can hear and see, the amount of possibilities is pretty much endless, and that's just with four oscillators on their own. Start adding filters and all kinds of stuff to each one, it can start to get a little bit crazy. Um, you can also have this filter, this VCF here, and right click on it. If I hit input one, you can see this is lane number one, so I've just told that input one from us from for the VCF is lane 1. So lane 1 is now going on to the VCF. But I can also change that to input 2, to input 3. So oscillator 3 is now being affected by this VCF. But because the VCF is going through the second input or the second lane, you can't hear it. So it starts to get a bit complicated, but we'll get into this in more detail when we start to really talk about routing. Anyway, that's the synthesis section now. Um, I know it was only brief, but we will be going into each individual one of these and explaining exactly what to do and how to use them. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.